Now guys, we have three minutes and 32 seconds left of basketball. Nobody slacks until that clock says zero. David, Jimmy, I need more from you guys. Let's bring it in. Defense on three. One, two, three, defense! defense. Damn well, you ain't old enough to be drinking on no wine, wasting my time. I got stuff to do. What are you doing? You're not done. You have to clean up. Mr. Hobb, I told you my son has a game and I'm already late. Well, if you're late, don't go. Clean up. No. Remember, I was off today. You asked me to come in. Oh, don't act like you don't need the money. Tom, please. I gotta get to my son's game. Ah! The buddy went close. The buddy now. Get the final. No! Okay! Don't you hurry up! Don't get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Okay, buddy! And you better not let's go! No! I said, no, I don't know! You empty that register. Hurry up! You got five seconds, hurry up. I want everything, be quiet. I want everything, hurry up. Go. Oh, you think it's a game, huh? <laughs> now empty out that damn register. Mm, everything. Yeah. Get your ratchet ass from behind that camera, hurry up. Both of y'all lay on the ground, hurry up. Count to 100 and you get it. Buddy. You drop your gun. I'm not playing with you, buddy. Drop the weapon. I promise if you come any close, I'm blowing your head off. Just leave! Time tonight, sir. Yeah, well, neither did I, but since my wife won't be home from her mission trip until tomorrow, I figured what the hell, I'd come by. Any leads? Yeah, we got a black male, 6'3, 220 pounds, looks to be in his late 20s, early 30s. Okay. Did y'all package your surveillance cameras yet? It's nothing to package. They were turned off the entire time. What? Why were they turned off? We're still trying to figure that one out, sir. Is that the owners over there? Yeah. So who is it that got killed? Your son. Anything else? Any other leads? 
We got a casing from the victim, a casing from the shooter, and then we've got a weapon over there. Okay, thank you. Hey, I'm sorry about your loss. I'm Officer Basconi. I'm going to help figure out what happened there. Just want to ask you all a few questions first. What time did you open up this morning? 9 a.m. And were your cameras going when you opened up at 9? I told the other officer gentlemen they were all turned off during the robbery. Hey, hey, I know what you told the other officers, but now you're talking to me. So please just answer the questions I ask you. Now, were your cameras going when you opened up? Yes. At around what time did they get cut off? 10.30 a.m. Okay, like 10.30. And why did you cut them off? I didn't turn them off. They should never be off. Was it you, ma'am? <laughs> why would I turn them off? These cameras help protect us from these savages. Look, someone had to turn these cameras off. Was it possibly your son? No, I doubt it. Who else works here besides you and your family? This lady named Janice. Okay, Janice. Okay. And did Janice work today? Yes, she was here right before everything happened. You have any information on Janice? Yes. the police. Well, okay, who are you looking for? I'm looking for a Janice Edwards. How can I help you? You can help me by opening the door first. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Okay, one second. Do you mind if we come in and talk? Yes, I mind because I'm not dressed. Now, what do you want? Well, the store you work at was robbed last night and someone was murdered. Oh no, I wasn't even aware of that. It's my understanding that you worked last night? Yeah, y yes I did. Okay. Did you see anything, hear anything, anything suspicious? No, it must have happened as soon as I left. You know, I find it quite interesting that not even five seconds after you walk out, someone walks in and robs the place, but yet you didn't see anything? What are you trying to say, officer? I'm saying that something is not being told and I would like to know if you have any idea what that something is. If I had any idea of what happened, I would tell you. Okay. Well, here's my card. Call me if you want to share more with me later if you hear anything. Oh, yeah. And by the way, we'll be back in a couple days to bring you in the station for more questions once we further our investigation. And don't worry, Janice. You won't be alone. We'll have all potential suspects there. Not a problem. So what do you think? Think she was telling the truth? I think she was scared. Of course she was. But why? I don't know. Maybe she's not used to talking to officers, especially showing up at her door to talk about a robbery and a homicide. Take a good look at this hood. You be the judge. Hey, look. There's that kid, the basketball player. Which one? I see a few black dudes. The one with the Chicago Bulls hat on. Kid? That ain't no damn kid. That's a grown man. No, that's a kid. He just looks grown. He's a junior in high school. He's got game. They're saying he's the next Derrick Rose, but he's got a body like LeBron James. Yeah, how are his grades? I don't know. I'm not his dad. You know, actually his dad could hoop too. Could have played on someone's college or even pro team. We'll stop them. Got off into selling drugs and then dropped out of school. He was one of the biggest drug lords in Chicago and he got murdered by one of his own friends. I hate to hear stories like that. Yeah, me too. Poor kid. What's his name? David Edwards. I'm a ton of these lames down here, boy. Ain't no comparison. When it come to getting money, we kill them. When it come to getting these stats, 
we killing him. <laughs> Fight you? Definitely killing him. And not the last night's game. They know that basketball, we killing him. For real. <laughs> said that like you played last night. <laughs> <laughs> right? Boy, man. You saying that like I'm gonna slap you with my pistol. Nobody gave you permission to speak. You just a lane from the suburbs, boy. You shouldn't even be here. Only reason you here is because of David. Matter of fact, I just... Hey, hey, hey. Come on, PJ, man. What you want, bro? Get off that. Get off what? Nah, nigga, we own that. You ain't gonna do nothing. Nigga, you do something. <laughs> what you will, yeah. Square, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, bro. Yo, he just pulled out a gun. It's not gonna shoot him. My man, Dave. Ain't scared of nothing. That's why I like you, man. Fall back, bro. Let me holler at you real quick, baby. Nigga, what you looking at? You all right, bro? Yeah, man. I'm all right. Hey, who's the kid talking to David? It's not a kid. It's a little older than him. Street name is PJ. Real name is Prince Jamerson. He's in his mid-20s. So now on his third strike. His next drug case, he's looking at some serious time. So why is he hanging with David? Why do you think? David is his investment. He's more than likely trying to get David to sell drugs for him. I'd hate to see that kid fall victim just like his father. Me too. It's like your game last night. You was doing your thing, man. Thanks. Yeah, but I'm thinking, man. I want you to jump down with me. Put some money in your pocket, man. I mean, I know you're struggling. Look at them shoes. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. David, get your butt upstairs. What the hell is she yelling about? So Janice is David's mother? It's not good. I hate to see her guilty for this robbery and homicide. David, get your butt up here now! You better get up there, man. I want you to think about what I talked about. For real. Alright, man. Give me stuff like that. Why you let me shoot that nigga? Man, you ain't gonna shoot nobody out here. How your job feel, man? Get your damn hands off. <laughs> Janice. Hey, Miss Janice. Hey. Now, what are y'all doing hanging out there with them boys? They are nothing but trouble. And, David, you know better. Well, we was talking about the game yesterday. Actually, the one you missed. David, the only reason I missed the game is because I went to work. Coming to your games will not put no food on this table. And I highly doubt if y'all was just talking about basketball. You know he prays on teenagers to sell drugs for him? I would never sell drugs. Of course you wouldn't, Jim. You will never live in this community either. You and O, you have a wealthy family. Mom, do we have a wealthy family? Boy, hell no. <laughs> David, I need you to go to the store for me. Okay. My father is here. You can get out of here. All right. Hey, Jim, um, you mind if I quarter ride back with you? Yeah, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. All right, cool. Hey, All see right, you later, man. All right. All right. I wonder what car you're driving today. Mm -hmm. Man, looks like he bought another car. Damn. Nice. Man, they lucky. No such thing as luck. They're just more fortunate. Yeah. Hello? Girl! I'm so glad you okay. I sent Boo Baby up there to the store to get some milk and he told me y'all was closed and I know y'all should be open. Then Felicia calls me and tells me y'all's store got robbed yeah. and Mr. Hobbs' son got murdered. And I really hate that he killed Mr. Hobbs' son. He? Who is he? Whoever it was that robbed the store. You know it had to be one of them crazy fools out here. I guess. So what you gonna do for work? Cause your little registered job gone. I don't know. Man, I really need that job. Girl, no. Hell, you better than me. 
I'll be selling my son like loose squares. Nene. What? I'm serious. So what you gonna do to that SSF check come? Cause seven days is a long time when you're broke. Sure is. I just need to have somebody loan me this rent money. Well, don't come looking for me cause I ain't got nothing for you. You know what? Now you doing way too much. Uh, man, don't touch my dice, nigga. Hell, yeah. nigga crazy. Uh. Mm. Come on, baby. Mm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what's this? That's money. Are you getting smart? No. Man, what did I tell you about coming to me short, man? Huh? You said, you said don't. I said don't, because for every dollar you short, you get a slap, slap. right? So you get a slap. Oh, 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 to eat when you hungry, but you squeeze at the I do nothing, man. I'm resisting. I ain't tripping. Come on, bro. I ain't, I ain't did nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you seen to the judge. I swear to God, you bust my mouth. You a goofy, yeah, yeah. Goofy nigga. Is it greed? Is it love? That's what I want to see. Till your knees hit the rug. David. David. Huh? Why wasn't you responding? I'm sorry, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, look, I need you to go to the other store because Mr. Hobbs is closed for now. Here. Okay. Okay, get some chicken and a bag of rice. Oh, man. Rice and chicken again? We gonna turn into some chicken. Well, baby, that's what mommy can afford right now. So you either gonna take this chicken and rice or a syrup sandwich. And, David, don't take all day and don't be out there talking either, okay? Go and come straight back. Get that bag, get that bag. Hey, I'ma go ahead and pull up. Pull up. It ain't about that cash. Ain't about that cash. No need for the pull up. Nah. Shorty so bad. Shorty so yeah. bad. You can tell her to pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Huh. Yeah. It should be a parent. Me and money go together like a marriage. Yeah. We could play big bank, little bank uh -huh. gang. You'll be leaving the barracks. Got a chick on my side, she the baddest. Talk money. But Bro, what are you doing? Man, I'm playing that music. That's gonna get them in that mood. Boy, get away from me. So we need music to get him in the mood. This. That's all you need to get him in the mood. Is that right, baby? I'm already in the mood. Can you move to the hallway and I can show you what I'm going to do? Baby. Huh? I'm leaving. Take care of your brother. Where you going? Out. I should be back by the time y'all leave out for school. By the time we leave out for school? Why are you sitting out the whole night? Ooh. Take care of your brother. I asked you. Dude, most man. We just want to go out some damn well. Stay in the house sometime. Is that a BMW? Come Who is it? PJ. What up? What up? I just see your mom's leave, and don't look like she coming back no time soon. I just need a room for about 10 minutes. I don't care if it's a closet. Turn about to yourself, man. Are you cute? Oh, yeah. It's my man, baby. You on the way to the league. You know what? Matter of fact, call your girl up here. Nah, nah. Hey, bro. Trust me, bro. You want to meet this one. If I went to my house first, I want to be with this natural right here. I heard that. Hello, Ebony, girl. Come to this building across the street and come up to the second floor. 
What's the apartment number? Man, just go outside and wait for it. I'll be in the hallway. Trust me. When I tell you this Negro is fine, this Negro is fine. So what? Damn. Anyway, trust me, bro. You want to meet her. She got a nice job, nice car, got money. Basically everything you don't got. How old is she? I mean, I don't know. What does that even matter? You feel virgin or something? No, I ain't no virgin. I just asked you how old she is. But why does that matter, though? Just tell me. This is my girl, Evie. This is the future league player. Are you better than LeBron Jordan? Oh, who the hell is LeBron Jordan? She met LeBron James, bro. Yes, him. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you hitting me for? Anyway, bro, what wrong with something to drink? Oh, no thanks, I don't drink. I don't drink either, I'm talking about water. Oh, yeah, I'll take a water bottle. All right, cool. You gotta excuse the house. Normally it's not this junkie, but hey, things happen. It's cold, you like it. Thank you. No problem. By the way, my name is... David Edwards. I know who you are. See, I've been to a few of your games and I think you're really good at basketball. Yeah. I thought you could be just a little bit better on defense. You gonna come at the defense, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, but you right. I don't know how I missed you at the games. Oh, I never really stay into the end. I'm always in and out. So I read an article in the newspaper one time saying that you get your basketball skills from your father. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, my daddy was good, but I think I'm better. <laughs> nah, you more like Daniel's son, and he is Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should be right back. Is it the long right back or the short right back? I'm not sure. David, I'm thirsty. You want some water? Mm-hmm. All right, man. Oh, you know what? You can take mine. You sure? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right. Drink that. Thank you. So, who's the pretty lady? Oh. Well, this is my friend, Ebony. Hi, Ebony. Hi, Joseph. What's that noise? That noise must be coming from some loud, disrespectful people. I'm done. All right. Go get back in the bed. Good night. Good night. Good night, pretty lady. Good night. I'm going to put this over here. You know, I think I remember your little brother. At your games, he always sits on you guys' bench, right? Mm-hmm. He refused to sit anywhere else. Man, that's my little bro. He my biggest supporter, so you good. You know, I really admire the fact that you and your brother have such a cute relationship. I never heard someone describe a relationship as cute. Oh, well, you just did. And don't try and steal my stuff either. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a grown man. You would never hear me describe anything as cute. <laughs> you mean you're a grown-looking young man? I think you're attracted to this grown-looking young man. As a matter of fact, I'm very attracted to you. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You should let me take you on a great date sometime. 
I never heard that either. <laughs> <laughs> See, a great date doesn't end with dinner, but a great date ends with breakfast. Whenever you're ready. Um, how about you give me your phone number? How about you give me yours? I'm out of minutes. That's a goddamn shame. <laughs> So you walking around here broke, bogey shoes, and a government phone? How you figure it's a government phone? Because them the only phones that run out of minutes. Man, whatever, man. Oh, hey. Go ahead and jump down with me, bro. I can change all that. I'm talking about putting a few hundred dollars in your pocket a night. Nah, I'm good, bro. Well, I appreciate the room, though, fam. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you paying for this hotel fee, too. <laughs> you mean motel fee? Whatever. Let's see what I got for you. Ah. Here you go. <laughs> you know what? Go extra five, man. It's been a while, all right? This is an extra four. What other dollar? Hey, baby, you can go ahead home. Why? I'm gonna make a run with Rio real fast. That's him behind us? Yeah. Pop the trunk. Take Joseph to the park. Joseph, you want to go to the park? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. I left about fifteen hundred in the trunk. Take what you need. Okay. Right. See you later, little man. want to eat. How about some cereal? <laughs> Why does this boy have that music blasting? I like that song. Yeah, we dropping like flies. Ain't gonna continue to if we don't never open our eyes. It's over when it's through. Time to watch the murder rate rise. Yo, summer break it. Ooh, my nephew said go to the five. For God, I pray for you. David! You safe as you strive. Will you still be forgiven for all the lives I take if you die? Yeah! Cause I'm a Cut that music down, son. I said cut the music down, son. I'm listening to it. Fathers don't engage in their lives. Trees is full of fruit. Judging by the grapes they provide. Pressure peaks when it's 75 to 80. Look, when you get out, I need you to go through the store for me. 
Okay. Can I go too? Yeah. Yes. David, can I get a candy bar, please? No, we don't have enough. I have some money. That's not enough. Then how much is enough? Not that. You're like a whole dollar short, Joseph. So with another dollar, how many can I get? Just one. How about with five dollars? Four, but you still have to pay taxes. David, when are you going to be rich? Can I become a pro? Can you teach me how to become a pro? Can you teach me also? Uh. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. You mean Joseph. Oh, I am so sorry. I definitely meant Joseph. Tell you what, here is a dollar for messing up your name. What do you say? Thank you. You are very welcome. Hmm. So, what are the odds of me seeing you here today? Are you following me? I was here first. Mm -hmm. So you tell me who following who. Mm -hmm, like I said. Just all nice. Boy, this is work clothes. Where you work? I work in the office of a property managing company, mainly keeping people's files together. Nothing hard, but it pays well. Key word is it pays. True. Who is it? It's Bruce, the landlord. I'm coming. Hey, Bruce. Janice, where's my money? Bruce, I promise you, if you just give me one more week, I will have it all to you. I done gave you a whole lot of one more weeks, Janice. And besides, you're telling me the same thing that you told me for the last four months, and I still ain't got nothing. I'm trying. Which is good. But trying ain't gonna get it. Here, this is yours. You got five days to get out. Please, I have two boys. When are me and my baby supposed to go? It's not my problem, Janice. Bruce! You gotta pay where you stay, Janice. Bruce! Put in your pocket? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you one more time. What did you just put in your pocket? Okay. <laughs> let me go! Straight to baby juice. I said, let me go! Set you up. Big G, what are you talking about? I don't play stupid. You ain't tell me about dude in the back with the gun. Oh, but it's cool. Cause he dead now. <laughs> soon you'll be joining him. Nah, you gonna join him soon. Not me, you! Damn it! She hung up. Ten more seconds and we would have had a location. But we do have a new lead. Big G. And we got evidence that Genesis is involved. Not really. She never said anything mentioning the store or what happened. What we do have is our new lead calling her phone, which is enough to bring her into the station to talk to her. What do you want, Big G? Uh, excuse me? Who is this? Are you the mother of Joseph Edwards? Yeah, who wants to know? Ma'am, I'm the store manager here at EMM Food and Candy, and I have your son Joseph in the back office for stealing. Fix your face. 
your son is a thief. That's the only reason for me calling you. I caught Joseph stealing. I don't believe this. Where's David? Uh, ho hold on. Your mama wants to know where David is. Well, never mind then. Sir, David is his brother. That's who he's at the store with. Ma'am, I caught him here stealing by himself. So either you need to come down here and handle this, or I can call the police and let them take him to baby juvie themselves. Fine. I'm on my way. I said fix your face. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you were this funny. There's a lot of things about me you don't know. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Good things or bad things? Well, that all depends on what you consider good or bad. So, when will you be ready for that great date? To be clear, you said a great date doesn't end with dinner, but it ends with breakfast, correct? That's correct. Well, if the date is good, instead of ending it, I say we leave it at a to be continued. Boy, you better say that. <laughs> Why did I just get a call saying your little brother was caught here stealing? And this is why? Who is she? Who are you? Hi. You know what? It don't even matter. Believe you, David. What are you talking about? I ain't do nothing. Oh, really? Where's Joseph? He was... You know what, David? I'm gonna just get going out. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Get going. Because you're the reason he wasn't watching his little brother. Is that your mama? Yep. All right, let's go. Come on, Ma, you doing too much. You owe her an apology. Baby, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you in this store. Messing with that grown heifer, she lucky I didn't slap her. Now, why would you try to slap her? I'm about to slap you. How about that? It's wrong with you up in here stealing? Joseph, you know better okay, than look, that. Don't Ma, you... you get your hands off me. Sir, thank you very much for calling me. I promise you this will never happen again. What? I just need to have somebody loan me this rent money. Dave. Huh? I'm leaving. Take care of your brother. Where you going? Out. I should be back by the time y'all leave out for school. I want you to jump down with me. I'm gonna put a few hundred dollars in your pocket a night. Condolences to the families who's lost loved ones. Nah. A mother, father, a sister, mm -hmm. daughter. Yeah, we dropping like flies and gonna continue to if we don't ever open our eyes. It's over when it's through. Time to watch the murder rate rise. The old summer breaking. Ooh, my nephew say it's goals to survive. For shot, I pray for you that God will keep you safe as you stride. Will he still be forgiven for all the lives I take if you died? Cause I'm a sinner too. Trying to let my faith be my guide and hope to get me through. To spend eternal days in the sky. They say it's in the roots. The fathers don't engage in their lives. Trees is full of fruit. I judge them by the grapes they provide. Pressure peaks when it's 70. Five to eighty outside. They feel the need to shoot. It's almost like we hate we alive. But hey, who needs the truth? If we are doing great with the lies. Just keep those chains that's wrapped and looped around our brain till it dies. Somebody save us.